This programme contains strong language and sexual references throughout. Hi, Paula. I'm Holly. Nice to meet you. First, let's peek into Lola and her jealous boyfriend, Sarin. Her words, not mine, and see how they are handling Chris's arrival. I do feel like there was a line that you crossed, you know? Well, uh, you see that Lola is in a committed relationship, right? And I, and the fact that you consistently continue to reach out to her. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's like, not only one side, she be reaching out to me too. It's a certain amount of respect that you should have, you know, especially for someone who's in a committed relationship. You have the wrong idea at the end of the day. If she ever does reach out to me, it's on some, how are you? If I reach out to her, it's on some, how are you? How you doing? That, that's not your girl, so what's the point of, what's the point of checking in on? I just feel like it's completely disrespectful, you know what I'm saying, to just consistently reach out to my girl. As far as I'm aware of, Lola's telling me that He's the only one reaching out. Like, I just don't see why and how that man would just sit there and say that Lola's reaching out, because if that's the case, then that's not good. You know, obviously there's still love there, there's still friendship there. That's why I came here. I feel like Lola and Seren's relationship has a lot of tension going on. Even before I got here, I heard from Lola that they've been arguing for days and Lola really wants to be more heard. There's no point in them being in a relationship if he's not gonna do that. I'm gonna let you gather your thoughts. I'm gonna go get a drink. Ah. Now on to Jake, who is learning how to juggle. His ex and first love, Paula, and his current love, Holly. Let's see how it's going. Jake and I were like, I was Jake's second girlfriend, and yeah, it was a big one. She's so pretty, oh my goodness. <laughs> maybe going over it will help. Maybe anything that you have in your relationship. Yeah, I think we've definitely got a lot to unpack. <laughs> yeah, it was a long time ago. Long time. I never really like dated anyone else properly after. Really? Really, yeah. Well, after me. I traumatized. <laughs> I'm a completely different person to what Jake remembers. I mean, obviously, I've only heard Jake's side, but I've, I've heard a lot of it, to be honest, yeah. I don't think Holly's kindness towards me is authentic. I think she just wants to keep me close so that Jake doesn't have his eye on me. You know, what was there like at the end? It was... You're a beautiful person. Yeah. And you have a beautiful heart. Yeah, I don't want to be resentful. <laughs> no. I don't want you to be resentful. Kind of go through this healing. Like, you, you don't have resentment anymore, you know? You are, like, huge. <laughs> I grew, yeah. Like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it just kept growing. No, like, muscles. Being around Jake after all these years is just as I expected. I take one look into his hypnotising, magnetic eyes. There's always going to be this attraction between us. I was doing personal training for a couple of years. Kind of got into it, and then, yeah, fuck, shit hit the fan. I got hit by a car. Oh, my f***ing God, Yeah, Jake. I nearly, nearly, I should have died, and I didn't. What? Yeah, I broke my neck. I was in a neck brace. Then I had spinal surgery, so I got this big fusion. I just feel like when I'm talking with pals, it's definitely bringing up a lot of old feelings about our relationship. Yeah, it just feels really nice to see her again. He doesn't even fucking look at me. Like, he's literally having this conversation. Like, I'm not there. You know what I mean? Like, involve me. And then I was uh, back on my feet, about to get back to work, and uh, I got diagnosed with cancer, actually. Oh, Jay. Yeah, back in um, oh, 2020. Starting to feel a lot more connected with Jake. It really broke my heart to know that he's been through so much. Just like so hyper fixated on this conversation with her, and it's like you should be going out of your way to be making me feel comfortable right now. The 360 that Jake has done with Paula being in the house, it's really crazy. He's just like ignoring Holly. It's kind of a red flag to me. I think he needs to be fucking more aware of my feelings right now. Like I'm the one who's in discomfort, you know? Yeah. yeah. It was a lot, it was a big journey. I can't believe you went through that. Like, I went through all that, and uh, yeah, she was with me the whole time. I'm going upstairs. Fuck this shit. Holly! Holly, Holly, Holly! I'm not. No, Jake! 
I'm not in the right headspace to talk to you right now, okay? I'm not. Holly, Holly, Holly. No, you, Jake. Yes, no, no, because no. listen to me. If I'm not in the right headspace to talk to you right now, I'm not. So just give me a minute. Okay. How many minutes do you need? Five? Six? Three? I, I don't know what I did wrong, you know? I'd love to know, like, what I did to upset her so much. <sighs> when I walked in, I'm like, oh, my God, this is so weird. Yeah, it's... I just don't want Holly to be jealous of me. No. Or, like, if Jake and I, and think, I are yeah. talking, yeah. I don't want it to be like, oh, look at them, like... But I think that's so up much. to him to sort that out with her, to yeah. make her feel like, between you and him, there's nothing going on. Like, obviously, she's got to speak about your past. Yeah, well, true, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Like, oh, hey. hey. The man yeah. of the minute. Yeah. No. So so no. Just the girls room, no, yeah? I've shown him, yeah, yeah. So I got the ex and the new. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Honey, been enough minutes? I don't give a fuck if you think it has and it has. Come here. You were having I... a conversation with her, and I come and I stand next to you, and I want to be involved in that conversation. Yeah. You do not. I was standing there like a fucking idiot. You guys were talking at any minute. I'm like waiting to be included in the conversation, Jake. All right. I came I to. Hear. No, I'm still talking. I told Jake ahead of time how I wanted him to handle that situation. I really needed him to show up and be there for me in that moment. He fucked up, and that really bothers me. If my ex came into the villa, mm -hmm. I would be standing next to you, holding you every second, making sure you're feeling so secure. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm still I'm talking. Fucking... I was sitting over there crying and you didn't even notice. I literally just thought that I, I needed to explain why she was here. My issue right now I... is with you. I have yeah. not a single issue with her. That's OK. I told you. So what would... No, so I'm asking... You're asking me a question and I'm trying to answer it. What you should have done... Is just is hold and squeeze by... a bit no, tighter but... and yes. not let go? But yes. OK, well, I'm stand sorry. Stand next to me. Check in with me. Hey, babe, I know this might be a bit hard for you. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm, I'm fucking overwhelmed, OK? Yeah, I get I'm that. fucking overwhelmed. Okay, let me give this. Give me a... I'm sorry, I love you. I fucked up. I didn't squeeze you enough, and I love you, OK? Just make me feel I'm like I am sorry. your priority. You are my priority, and I love you.